For any of you that work with architects or structural engineers that use Revit, there is a new building site object in Civil 3D. Revit users can export their building models. When they do this, an ADSK building model file is created that we can then import. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, this in action. So I have a drawing here. It's, uh, it's my grading plan. Uh, two viewports. The top viewport shows the uh, the model, and the bottom viewport shows the plan. Let's see how we can import the uh, the building side object. So I'm going to go to my Insert tab and Import, Import Building Site. Again, this is an, a file with an ADSK extension, and, and uh, the Revit user, again, structural or or, or architectural, uh, they can uh, export to this ADSK ADSK file. And they choose which level that they want when they do that. I'm going to go ahead and specify in drawing the insertion point because they, they may, may not be using the same coordinate system that I'm using. So I'm going to click on specify in drawing and then I can go ahead and, and, and choose uh, where I want to uh, insert the model. I usually like to put a, a small locator line in there, uh, maybe on a no plot layer for locating the building model. And then once I do that, you'll notice the building model in plan, this white boundary, and uh, more spectacularly, the building model in, uh, in, in, in the upper viewport, in the 3D model. Um, you can see it there. So this is great. This really helps with 3D modeling and presentation. It further extends the BIM functionality in Civil 3D, and uh, you and the architect or structural engineer will, will, will be on the, the, the same page. And this... Um, this, this ADSK file uh, stays dynamically linked, so if the structural engineer or the architect updates it, you will automatically, dynamically see that, uh, see that update, so you have a, a constant link to that ADSK file. Thank you.